Sequencing the genome. Two heads are better than one. The genome comprises the entire set of DNA instructions for each cell in all living things. DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, is the hereditary material found in humans and other organisms. The genome contains all the information needed to build any individual living thing and for it to grow and develop. As proposed by the Swedish geneticist and Nobel laureate Dr. Svante Pebo, detecting single nucleotide polymorphisms, pronounced SNPs, is essential across the fields of biology, anthropology, and medical sciences. Among other things, SNPs can help us predict an individual's risk of developing specific diseases. SNPs are the most common type of genetic variation among people, and to detect these tiny differences, we need reliable, publicly available reference sequences. These are the DNA sequences of the four bases, nucleotides, known as adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine, in an organism's genome. Unfortunately, sequencing software often cannot reconstruct the true sequence from segmented base sequences generated, even with advanced next-generation approaches. With this in mind, Associate Professor Yukihiko Tuknaga and Mr. Takuya Ganye at the University of Tsukuba in Japan sought to reconstruct the base sequence of one of the simplest organisms, the Phi X174 virus of bacteria. The Phi X174 virus is an Escherichia coli, E. coli bacteriophage, and such viruses work to selectively target and kill bacteria. Dr. Tognaga and Mr. Gagne generated random base segments without error from the reference sequence of Phi X174 and fed these segments to more than 10 freely available software applications. Of these, only one was able to perfectly reconstruct the Phi X174 sequence. The next step was to create an ensemble answer from all the correct and multiple incorrect sequences using non-metric multidimensional scaling, NMS. NMS is a powerful statistics tool for reconstructing the spatial relationship among data points, for each of which distances from other points are obtained. In this case, plotting the NMS provided Dr. Tuknaga and Mr. Gagne insight into the actual sequence of Phi X174. As a significant methodological step forward, this work provides a much-needed guideline for base sequencing in future research. Dr. Tuknaga and Mr. Gagne propose that we should not rely on a single program for sequencing, but instead use multiple software applications to obtain an ensemble answer as they have demonstrated. Similar to other commonly used approaches in statistics, this can provide us with the capability to determine reliable sequences for detecting SNPs.